Are you confused on how IVs, CPs, and level work in Pokemon Go? Well, let me help you out. What's up guys, Dax here with another video. Let's get right into how all of this stuff works in Pokemon Go. The first thing to understand is Pokemon have different base stats depending on the species. This is why a Magikarp will usually have a lot less attack than a Legendary or like a Mewtwo, for example. Magikarp's base attack stat is probably around 20 compared to Mewtwo, which is around 300. Also note, they have base attack stats, defense stats, and HP stats. This is also why evolved forms are usually stronger than the non evolved forms. For example, Bulbasaur will have a lot lower of an attack than a Venusaur. If you want to know any of the base stats, you can just search Pokemon Go base stats and a Pokemon, it'll all pop up for you. Next, we have IVs. This is all dependent on the individual Pokemon. So when you catch five different Magikarps, usually their IVs will be completely different. You can check these IVs by just clicking the appraise button and it'll show you pretty much how much attack IVs, defense IVs, and HP IVs it has. This is all dependent on that specific Pokemon, not the species, but that specific Pokemon you caught. So if you caught a Magikarp on your street on Sunday afternoon, and then you go catch another Magikarp down the street, they'll have the same base stats, but their IVs will be different. IVs can be the same on Pokemon, but this is very rare. And only really happens after you've caught a lot of that Pokemon. So how IVs work is they're adding one point of stat for every IV you have. The IV column is out of 15. So if you see it completely full, it's gonna have 15 of whatever stat that is in. If it's at zero, it's gonna have zero IVs in whatever stat that is in. IVs will add to the base stats. So let's take Mewtwo, for example. Let's say you find a Mewtwo, which has 15 attack IVs. Mewtwo's base attack stat is 300, right? So you're just gonna wanna add 15 to that 300. So it's attack stat is gonna be 315. This also works for defense and for stamina for all the Pokemon species. So just relate the IVs of that Pokemon to the species and you can find out how much attack defense or stamina that Pokemon has. Finally, the last thing to understand is the level of a Pokemon. A Pokemon can be level one all the way to level 40. It used to be level one to level 39.5, but that was a glitch, Niantic fixed it. Think of a level of how much potential power of a Pokemon has been unlocked. A Mewtwo at level one will not have a lot of its potential power unlocked and will be weak, but a maxed out level 40 Mewtwo will have all its potential unlocked. These numbers might not play out, but this is how I like to think of it. Let's say your Mewtwo is at level 20, then only 50 percent of the total power of that Mewtwo is unlocked. So this might not play out, but I like to multiply my attack stat by 50% for level 20 Mewtwo. So 300 times 1.5, that's going to be about 150. So your Mewtwo at level 20 will only have 150 attack. This is not actually real, but this is how I like to think of it to help you guys understand. Pokemon in the wild will be caught at a random level. You can tell what level the Pokemon is at depending on the semicircle and where that point is in the line. Note that this doesn't have a perfect ratio. So if the semicircle is in the middle, then it's not actually going to be level 20. It'll probably be more around level 10. You'll notice this when you're powering up at the start, it'll bring that point down the semicircle really quick. And then as you're hitting the higher levels, the circle starts to move less and less. You can download an app like Calci IV or Poke Genie, and this can tell you the exact level of your Pokemon if you're wondering. So yeah, pretty much the only way to increase your level and unlock more potential for that Pokemon is to power it up, which costs Stardust and Candy, but I'm sure you guys know that. Finally, you can actually buddy boost your Pokemon to level 41. This is when you have your Pokemon as your buddy and you gain 300 hearts with it. They'll be boosted and it'll get a CP bonus, but this CP bonus this is pretty much just leveling up that Pokemon by one level. I forgot to mention this, but the max level you can take your Pokemon is gonna be two levels higher than your level. So if you're level 16 and you max your Pokemon all the way out, it's gonna be a level 18 Pokemon. However, powering up Pokemon will stop at level 38 because the max level is level 40. So 38 plus two levels is level 40. So yeah, if you heard me right, once you hit level 38, you can have max level Pokemon. So if you're not level 38, work towards that, but then anything above that won't really affect the leveling up of your Pokemon. Now we have the most confusing number of them all, CP. CP is pretty much just the general number showing the strength of that Pokemon. No one knows really the actual formula for how CP is calculated, but it usually involves the base stats, the level of a Pokemon, the species of a Pokemon. It's all mixed and mangled. For example, a Mewtwo at level 40 will have around 4,000 CP if it has all max stats. A Magikarp at level 40 will have around 200 CP if it has all max stats. As you can see, the Magikarp has a lot lower of a CP because this is a lot weaker of a Pokemon. If you have the same species of a Pokemon that are at the exact same level, but different IVs, the CP will be different. I like to call this the CP range. Let me help you explain this. Let's say you have a Mewtwo, the exact same level and the exact same species, right? Mewtwo is a Mewtwo. One of them has an all max stats, so 15, 15, 15, and the other one has 0, 0, 0. This is going to be the CP range. So you're going to be looking at the CP of the low one, looking at the CP of the one with the max stats, and then it's going to show you the range of what the CP can be. Pokemon with higher max CPs will have a bigger range compared to Pokemon with lower max CPs. For example, a Magikarp at level one, if it has max stats or zero stats, the CP range is always going to be 10. You can see example of this on the trading menu. When you are trading, IVs will change. And since the level of the Pokemon won't change, it can show you what the CP would be if you're going to hit all max stats and then what the CP is going to be 
if you hit the worst possible stats. If you ever wondered how people know what the 100% IV is for a raid or for a research task, it's because of the CP range. The Pokemon's level will always be the same, so you're gonna be able to know that if the CP is a higher CP compared to a lower CP for that level, then you'll be able to know what the stats are. You can search charts for this. For example, you can search Lugia CP chart for raids, and pretty much it'll show you the IVs of that Pokemon before you even catch it when you have that raid encounter. Just take the CP of the Pokemon, line it up with the CP on the chart, and then it'll show you what the IVs are gonna be. Question of the day for you guys, honestly, this is a really complex topic, so I have no question for you. I want you guys to ask me the questions. If you have any more questions on how any of this stuff works, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, thank you for all the support you guys have been showing me on TikTok, on YouTube. I appreciate it all. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below or suggestions for videos. My name is Dax Relay, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yo, if you guys are looking for friends or raids or people to do raids with in Pokemon Go, join the link in bio. There's a Discord there. They host over 1,000 raids every day. That's where I get pretty much all my raids. And you can also drop your trainer code, get a bunch of friends so you can get all those best friends, make those lucky trades, and get that 100,000 XP for every best friend. Join below.